What's up, Arslings? Welcome back to the check. Just, I laugh every time I say that. I can't help it. It's so great. Uh, season three, episode three of The Last Kingdom. You're the and, only Arsling. I mean, it's true. But we're coming off a pretty wild episode. Uhtred finally just had his breaking point. He's had enough. He's just had enough. This monk dude was like talking all this shit and he slapped him and he hit the ground really hard and he died. He died. Like, holy shit. And it's just... It shouldn't have been so fragile. I mean, shouldn't have been talking so much shit. Shouldn't, have, shouldn't have been talking been shit. Yeah. That's correct. Gisela, his children, fuck off. He just kept running his mouth and Uhtred's like, stop, stop, stop. Like, that's enough. Nope. Slapped him. Dead. Nobody else was speaking up, though. No one else was like, hey, you might as well cut that shit yeah, out. I don't, I don't know what that was all about, but Ethelwold's kind of roaming around everyone and, like, putting stuff into their heads about, you know, Alfred this and Uhtred that. And, you know, he's actually doing a really good job of kind of spreading word and getting messages out. But he's the one who put that in that monk's head and he went all in literally and then ended up dying for it and as a result well, also Al thank goodness for that young girl she don't gotta touch nobody yeah i <laughs> yeah i mean unfortunately as a result because alfred's king he couldn't let this just go unpunished obviously but again it's one of those things where utrid's done so much good for you you probably wouldn't be alive you definitely wouldn't have as much control 100%. and power that you have currently and you would have nothing he had to sentence him for doing that because you can't kill a monk on sacred. Like, you just can't do it. Mm, you and so full of shit. It got to a point where he pulled a knife on Alfred. He actually kidnapped him, pulled him in the back. And it was one of those moments where it was so hard to watch that because we've seen this relationship constantly doing this to where all Uhtred wants is acceptance and he has his own stuff that he needs to accomplish and Alfred never willing to accept him and completely unwilling to fully embrace him because again, he doesn't worship the same God that he does. Mm -hmm. And it just finally, again, it was one of those things that we've talked about before. Uhtred's a dude, he's just a human being and you just push and poke someone enough, like they're gonna have enough and, and they're gonna not be so receptive of things and we finally hit the breaking point. We talked about it at the end of last episode. This feels like the end of the relationship. There is no coming back from that. Oh, no, no, And no. it's going to be an interesting situation to see now what does Uhtred do because he ended up going back to his old original family with Ragnar. And, you know, <laughs> the part of the problem that this all started with is Alfred wanted Uhtred to bend the knee to his son. And he's like, wait, but if I do that, then... My whole life is gone. He's linked to him for the rest of his life. He's always going to have to be there to protect. And it's crazy because he went and when he left, he went back to Ragnar. And Ragnar's like, I need a commitment. I need you, to, like, Dane for life, right? And the whole Brita situation, too, where she's still a little skeptical about the whole thing. And Well, yeah, if you're not a Dane for life, I'm going to kill you. And her response is like, kill Alfred. Take out Alfred. And it's like, damn. Like, what is Ut how is Uhtred going to handle this situation? Because, I, like, the relationship, yes, has had a lot of turmoil, but they care for each other very much. Uh, there was a lot of emotion going through through Alfred when yeah. you saw him kind of just by himself. Like, it, it kind of reminded me of a situation with Uta where it's like he has a certain duty as king, but Uhtred is a friend. And it's like, where does that line get drawn? Like, where does king versus relationship like, how does that, like, you juggle that. You could tell he was really emotional. It was beating him up really bad that that even got to that point. And I, I don't think Alfred ever likes having to sentence Uhtred to death. Like, he's done it so many times now. But I don't think he ever likes to do it. It's just... Let's just have another fight with Leah Fritch. Oh, wait. Yeah, which we saw him and Uhtred was having some issues and hallucinating and seeing... He's really sick. Yeah. But he ended up being better because Brita had a way to stop Skade's uh, little trance and they locked her up and put this thing in the ground and Ram's it head. like blocked her powers, which interesting. And even she was like, dude, you got to kill her. Like, you got to. You... Let's do it. You got to take her out. <laughs> Let's take care of this. We're just going to kill her. That's just, yeah. So that she can't do any 
more terrible things. Yeah, Uhtred's just scared. It's like, what if the curse is forever if we kill her kind of thing? And it's... There's no curse, my dude! Yeah, so we'll, we'll see where that goes. But the next big conflict, I feel like, because Brita's like, kill Alfred... And we've seen Finnan literally say, like, I'm not here to talk about war with Alfred. Like, that's treason. And it was like, we don't want to mess with that. We're, we already committed treason by leaving with you. We're not going to go commit war against Alfred. And if it comes to this, what are his dudes going to do? Like, what is his crew? Like, obviously, they're so ride or die with, with Uhtred. But it's one of those things where, do we go kill our king? I think that's something that Uhtred has to do on his own. Go handle the Alfred situation? Yeah. But what if... But, so here's the thing that's interesting on the flip side is Redbeard and Athelwold. Athelwold had a conversation. Athelwold basically pitched this idea of bring all the Vikings together. Regardless of what your beefs are with anyone else, bring everyone together, build this grand army, and then you attack Alfred because he has no Uhtred. He is getting sick. And... We're going to have this big alliance where it feels like we're going to try to take over and take Alfred out. And you mean blood hair. What did I say? Red beard. Blood hair. Yes, blood hair. <laughs> um, you know, it's all the same. Thing. Red hair, blood beard. Yeah. Blood hair. <laughs> that dude. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see where this allegiance goes because, again, if Uhtred and this grand army that we're being told about is actually going to try to invade and take Alfred out. Like, what is his crew going to do? What is Citric and Finnan going to do? I don't know. That's... I'm actually worried for all of them, but... And of course, you can't forget Baby Monk, who's the bastard child of Alfred. Os which Os I'm wondering what his role is going to be in all this, because we've seen him take a couple steps up. He hasn't necessarily proved himself as a warrior yet, but he was kind of sent out as the like talker. And then all his dudes came out and fought, which was a pretty funny moment. But, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of tension. And Uhtred just keeps getting put in these situations where he, he's being forced to essentially make a giant commitment. Yeah. Everyone wants his help. Everyone wants to call for him. Everyone wants him available to them so that they can help him in, in a time of need. And just every time he comes back to Brita, Brita's always a little skeptical. And it feels like this is... The time. It doesn't feel like Uhtred's going to leave Ragnar again. Like, they're tight. They're brothers. I but mean, I hope not. We'll see where this all plays out, though, because it feels like it's building to a lot of drama. I just as if we haven't had enough drama already. True. I just want Uhtred to be free. You know? I just want him to be able to do whatever he wants. Yeah, and don't forget, uh, all of a sudden, Athelred now wants Athelfled killed. He wants to kill He's his wife. such a piece of shit. So... Hopefully he gets his uh, his due soon. Also, if he let's somehow shave his head. I mean, let's just kill him. I just want I mean, shave he could his shave his head with the sword, just yeah. slice shave it off, off. <laughs> just but, a little off the top. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I feel like he's not going to really leave the comfort of his little palace. But if he does, someone's going to take him out. But yeah, Ethelred. Ethel Fled's got control of the army now. I feel like she does. I mean, she's awesome. The, like, the way that everybody like, kind of like looked at her as yeah. she was like leading everyone. I was like, yes. Well, if you, yes, bitch. If you speak with confidence, people are going to follow you. And she's in a position of power. And she's Alfred's daughter. So, yeah. Like, if you, if you do the job and present yourself well, people are going to follow you. So, yeah, that situation is going to be interesting to see how it plays out, too. But... A lot of drama, a lot of situation, a lot of stuff building. You ready to check out this episode? Yes. Let's go. Oh, you should have brought your sword out. Serpent's breath. I don't think that's appropriate. <laughs> don't Are be you waving too? your sword around. You cannot escape who you are. Oh God. Blood and bone. You are Bevan Bear. So even while he's not sick, he's seeing him. Mm-hmm. Does it us first? Forgive me, Lord. I loved her, Lady Gisela. I mean, not as you loved her, but she was always kind to me, Lord. Always. I will pray for her soul if that is acceptable. It is, Osfeth. You have made him a traitor. Duh. He's made his choice, and I've made mine. You made no choice. If you had not killed the monk, you would still be Alfred's Oathman. Oh, I mean, good points. And I'm glad I killed the monk. I'm Dane. It's 
It's like, Leo Frizz, can you stop talking shit? But he's not, it's not like he's lying. <laughs> I know, but he's poking the right buttons and like he's, yeah, he's getting them all riled up. Oh, Athelflaed's house. What are you gonna do? Oh, pretty baby. That's Eric's baby. You grant him three trees, lady, and he invites you to share food with him and his wife, telling all the country that you and him are the best of friends. Unless he's paying you handsomely, your trees deserve better. I like her. <laughs> Is dude coming to kill her or warn her? Warn her. Oh God, please let it be warn. I feel like they would send someone else to kill her, not him no athelred thinks that he's his dude still they have a bromance right but they would send someone else to kill her this feels oh the okay. fuck maybe not i'm here to cut your bread <laughs> you do not make a sound all my life i mean you no harm it is altel no one can know i have come here to your estate i shall say what needs to be said and then i shall leave yeah girl pull it out Make it quick and make it plain. Speak. Lady, you must leave. Tell me why I must leave my home. Because your husband intends to kill you. Or rather, he intends to have you killed and it will be blamed on Rome. You have never been a friend. You are my husband's hound. All of which is true, lady. To say otherwise would be a lie. I am here because I am every breath of mercy. Because I have come to believe that we would be a poorer land without the Lady of Mercia. Aww. Be smart. I cannot believe you and I will not believe you. You have no reason to, but I swear on my life and to God it is true. I wouldn't be able to believe him either. Your father weakens, and Uhtred, he has fled north the traitor. No, that is a lie. Uhtred would never break an oath. What else would embolden your husband to dare to kill you? One has followed the other. Believe me, I speak the truth. That's... <clears throat> he is of Mercia, and he is no coward on the battlefield. But he is not the king I hoped he would become. Thank you. Or the husband you deserve. Also, thank now, you. Quietly. Smart dude. I appreciate that. I do too. You you knew something was up when he gave her when he gave that look when she was like riling up the troops. Like he was impressed by mm -hmm. by what she was doing. And the fact he actually verbalized that he doesn't think that Athelred became has become the king that he expected. Let's have all the letters. You know what to do. I do, lady. God will be with you. See no one but Father Bioka. Yes, lady. Oh my god, I love her. You have the will of a queen. She reminds me right now a little bit of Sansa. Oh. With a little bit of Arya mixed in there. <laughs> oh, I love this. Run! One of these days I'll get you on horseback and it'll be great. Father Bioka, on my table is a list of possible wives for Edward. I would like your opinion. These are the names of Elderman and Thane's lord. Does each man have a daughter? I have no idea. That is for you to establish. My lord must part company with the little he had for his breakfast. You will excuse me. Uh, that means I'm going to go throw up. You will choose Ethelhelm. Lord Ethelhelm. His purse is full. His feared numbers 1,000 men or more. And fortunately, his daughter is both fair and in good health. The king will approve. You will? Send for Ethelhelm. I write that one down. It is Edward. What of him? Well, he claims to be married already. Oh, shit. Who carried out this ceremony was a priest. I am married to Edwin. She's gentle and delicate. Neither of which prevented you from jumping upon her at the first opportunity. You either give me the name of the priest or I said... You will do as your king commands. Or you will have me killed. You will hold your tongue. And what if I do not wish to become king? It is your duty. Shit. See, Uhtred had a point. He's not that kid, are you ready? You will escort the future king of Wessex to the nearest monastery, where he shall pray every hour of the I day wish and to remain night at the palace. until God grants him the sense to realize that being king is not a pastime, not a choice, but a duty. Your wife 
will be dealt with. You shall never dare put at risk all that I have achieved. Ouch. You done fucked up now. Damn, dude. Disappointment. Oh, he's... That hurt him a lot. Yeah. Everything... Like, his whole world probably feels like it's kind of coming down around him. Oh, bitch. Where's she at? Where, oh, where did she go? You gotta kill somebody. It's like, Uhtred's gone. His son is clearly not fit for this. And just... Things are falling apart. Well, the house is empty. No person was there. The lady Ethelfled is gone. Not so much as a servant or, or a guard, Lord. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Well, she must have been forewarned. By you. Oh, shit. You cannot simply execute your subjects as you please. This is the ninth century. Oh, my God. Did he just basically say, not in this economy? <laughs> But perhaps it is for the best that Ethelfled lives. The best for whom? When Alfred eventually decides to depart, he must be made welcome in Winchester. You we will find out where she is and ensure that she is dispatched. Find her and give her circumstance and whereabouts to the Danes. Any Dane. Yes, Lord. Uh, uh, oh, this Why are you not dead yet? Oh, my God. We'll finish him. This guy is a fucking dickwad. That's a new one. You are done for, my friend. As we may all be done for. Oh. Ah, shit. Dude came and finished his own kills. We have the ugly. <laughs> the shit smelling. The pig humping. Ugly. Frog licking. That's Oh, is this a UFC event? <laughs> Probably more like WWE. <laughs> In the battle of strength, the pretty. Is this Triple H? The lion of foot, apple red hair, the apple tree. Famous. <laughs> You're a scrub, not a warrior. I have the gift, I really do. Take the rope. Oh, we got a little battle royale or a tug of war here. Mm -hmm. He play games every day if he could. Oh, let's do that. I love this shit. This is fantastic. Who knew Ragnar had so much fun? <laughs> he has a really good uh, future career as an announcer and mm -hmm. hype man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if only all wars were fought this way. Word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of this game? Ragnar wins. Yeah, that's called I win. It is a watchman. The gates. Open it. Men and horses, Lord. Warriors. How many? Forty or fifty. Bears and arrows to the walls. The Everybody's fucking wasted. Oh, Colonel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's how he sobers up. Yeah. <laughs> He's here, and I will refuse him. Mm. She's got games. She's playing games. Mm-hmm. They are Danes. Tis and blood hair. The Earl Sigurd. Neither are fond of me. <laughs> For what reason, I wonder? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all need to shut up. Are we at war? It is what we do, Lord. Discussion would be a better word. You're a long way from the Amfleur, Teston. Uhtred, you are no longer Alfred Zothman. What of you? Are you still Alfred Zothman? He believes so. Blood hair. What do you have to say? I say we're tired and hungry and my horse is sore. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to say to me, blood hair? Last time I saw you, you were running for your life. Ooh. Yes. You took what belongs to me. We have that matter to settle. It can wait. May even be resolved peacefully. You leave your swords at the gate. You have our respect. There will be no argument. I swear. I don't believe you. I do. I think they, yeah, they, they're gonna, they got a common foe right now. They're gonna pitch a common goal. 
Oh, he's there too? Fuck this guy. What is it you believe you're doing? You know what I'm doing. I'm seizing a chance to take what is mine. An opportunity. You're here for amusement and nothing else. Your rightful place is the alehouse in Winchester. I'm as much King of Wessex as you are Lord of Bevenberg. Oh, bitch. Where is your honor? Doesn't have You're any. meant to be the son of a king of Wessex. My crown was stolen, and thanks to you, I now have the opportunity to take it back. Make no mistake, we are the same, you and I. Uh -uh. We are not the same, and never shall be. Kings will be made, and kings will die because of you. I mean, I'll say something nice about him. I do appreciate his ambition. I'm, yeah, I can. <laughs> like, he is relentless about this idea and doing whatever he can. So I'll give him that. He's still a turd. Yes. I am leaving for home and for my bed. Speak well, Lord. Uhtred's children. Oh, what? He has abandoned them. No, Lord, not quite. The Abbess Hild is providing for the children. Cookham is no longer their place. It is no longer Uhtred's estate. It is no longer home to his seed. Have them brought to Winchester. Arrange for their welfare and education. Introduce them to God. Ew. You're gonna be dirty like that? That's what it, that, That's what was on his mind right now? Like... <laughs> Take advantage of the children who have no say? Great. But you could tell again, he looks upset. Like, yeah, he's... everything he's doing currently is like... Bjorka's pissed. Yeah. Bjorka, this is Sabo. Oh, she made it. She's safe, you say? She is. She's gone to the nunnery at Winchelcombe. But if we say nothing to the king, if we withhold the knowledge of the threat to Ethelfled's life, that is treachery. It is what my lady wishes. It is what she wishes. It is not what I would wish. Father, will you help us? We will. Dang, that's tough, dude. I love Tira. By doing what? By traveling to the nunnery myself? There is a second letter. It is a solution. To Uhtred you go. He is always the solution, it seems. What? Ethelfled has arranged a ship and is waiting for us on the Thames. To take us where? To take us north, dear. To the solution. Mm -hmm. Uhtred's always the solution. Bring the kids. And their last interaction was quite heated. Yes. Bioka and He said, Uchred. I would kill him myself. Yeah. Have they asked for your sword yet? They too are saying Alfred is near death and that he's preparing his son for the crown. True. His son is a boy. Our grandfather would often speak of Wessex. How proud would he be if together we marched a great army and we took that land? Oh boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a lot. You would be proud, no doubt. You have made this possible by abandoning Alfred. <sighs> this is so tough. Oh shit. You will oh. kill me, Arslan. And men like me. He is tripping. You have recovered, Lord. I'm glad. What is it you want of me? To be a part of your life. To live beside you and through you. You will never be rid of me. Ugh, like a disease. Accept me. What will become of Wessex and Alfred? Alfred will die. And with him, his kingdom. His God, his people. It is you who must rule. For the sake of the Saxons, you must take Alfred's place. My king, what I want is to be your queen. <laughs> what? And this heart can be yours, should you want it. Uh, awkward. You gave her up to save yourself. She's mine. If I have to kill you, then that is what I will do. Right here. You are a guest of my brother, so I will ignore you this once. Threaten me again and I'll feed your guts to the pigs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. What the? No. no. She's not a woman to own. It is she that must own a part of you. 
We will speak again, I'm certain. Thank you, Lord. Damn, dude. Pain your Cheerios. I've given you my word that I would keep the peace. But I wish to fight Dutred. He has taken my woman, my seer. He shames me. Now is not the time. My answer is no. <laughs> Dude's gonna be a problem. Yeah, big, big problem. I thought Ragnar was gonna, like, take him out right there or something. I despise every moment I'm upon the waters. <laughs> If God had intended me to travel the seas, he would have made me a fish. <laughs> Tira loves this. Waves taller than a bomb swept them to their death. This is not a story I wish to hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, poor Bianca. I know. <laughs> he like... doesn't handle the water well. Was Alfred expecting Ooh. him to like? I know it's so pretty. Was Alfred expecting him to like get the kids like immediately or? Yeah, I don't know. Wait a week. Together we attack Mercia, like Wessex, yeah, yeah. and we kill Alfred. I find the pretty Ethelfled, and we all take our turn with her. Fuck off. And at some point we begin to fight amongst ourselves, and the plan fails. Fight. For what reason? It will happen. As sure as your bolts are more suited to a nut, it will happen. Why? Because you say it? Because each of you believes themselves to be the sword dane above all others, mistakenly. There can be only one leader. I will lead. I'm asking you to join me, Ragnar. As Heston has joined me. When did I join you? Yep, see? see? We that... literally just said it. <laughs> that didn't take long. Name your victories. Says the man who lost half his army. To a sickly king. Well, that is enough of the shit talk. Next, you compare the size of your cock. See, Brita, it's a pissing match. Ragnar is the only man each of us will trust. The only man. You do not trust me, Dane Slayer. Not know you, nor do I like you. Utrud <laughs> <laughs> says that we must become one army, and I tell you now, I would be proud to lead the next great army, but only if it is agreed by each. One of you. In return for your trust, I give you my word. When Alfred is defeated, and he will be defeated, there will be silver. But more than that, there will be reputation and honor in this life and the next. Who is with me? I like Ragnar. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm with you. You have my sword. Listen. I have no argument. I too will follow. Always. But you knew that. And me. I'm a man who knows every Saxon grudge and grievance held against Alfred, and there are many. You will need me. That leaves Uhtred? Obviously. My sword is my brother's, no doubt. What's Uhtred's crew gonna do, though? The kingdom of Wessex will surrender. Or burn. Yes! Six. Be quiet now. They are our people, Finn and our friends. Oh, be quiet. Um, yeah, now's not, now's not the time for that. Nah, just hang on. Like, literally, everybody. <laughs> shoot, shoot him! <laughs> Uhtred is. He's conflicted. Yeah. It looks like there's. And Alfred looks no, like switch. trash. He looks really sick. It's it's one of those moments again where it feels like Uhtred's like stuck in the middle of like always. He's always getting stuck in the middle. You're absolutely right. I must know that I am able and I am. I know the sight of you alone would strike at the heart of both the doubters and heathen. Alfred, you will never leave me. Bioka, you have not spoken a word the whole day. Yes, I have, but my mind is occupied. Dunholm, I should not be taking you back to such a place. I worry that memories will overwhelm you. It was a different life, Bioka. I am a different woman. She is very strong. And happily married. We should hide ourselves. 
Uh oh. Eston, what is he doing in the north? Such a long way from BM Fleot. Traders, maybe. A man, a woman. And Bobby Gates. Um, Brita should know who. Bioka? Moltira. Oh, yeah, he's. Well, maybe he's just too far away. Part of me had hoped he would not be here. Uh oh. Chula, what are you doing here? Are you not glad to see me? Look at you. You're beautiful. Aww. And who's the priest here to see? Rita, my angel, I see you've swallowed yet another wasp. <laughs> See the boy one last time? Kick his ass, perhaps? Is it true? All of it. My children, are they well, have you heard? They are well, and they are being cared for. We'll speak with the priest later. <sighs> Father Bayoka, welcome to Dunholm. Comes as no surprise to see you here. Amongst friends. I'm nervous for Bioka now. Me too. He is now seeing probably two things that he shouldn't have. Probably. Between Heston and Ethel whatever. Ethel <laughs> Ethel whatever. <laughs> Ethel doesn't matter. <laughs> Ethel not going to be here anymore. Give your message and be on your way. Say it. I'm not here to chide you or to save you. And I'm not here for Alfred. I'm here for Ethel Fled. She's in hiding in an honorary. Hiding from who? Her husband. Plans to have her killed. This is not my worry. She has guards. She has the king. She has the upper even. She's asked for Uhtred. I mean, who wouldn't? It's Uhtred. I mean, this... With his positioning now, it opens the door for him to kill Athelred. So... He arrived with Heston and Blutter. Having first paid a visit to Ethelred, that is what he did. If Heston is returning south, then soon he will know that Ethelred is in hiding and where. I have given half my life to Essex. I will give no more. She says you are sworn to her. This is Alfred's doing. Ethelred hereby releases you from that oath. Yes. She asked for your help, not because you are her oath man, Ultra, but because you are the man that she trusts the most. Fuck. And... Had I remained in Wessex and refused to swear to Edward, Alfred would have had me killed. It was for Ethelfled that I came here. You're free to choose your own path. Tell him about his kids. Tell him. Tell him about his children. Again, another friggin' situation throwing onto Uhtred's plate that's gonna make him... Loser. In an impossible situation, though. It's like constant lose-loses for him. And now his boys are probably going to be like, Yeah, we can't go with you. Mm -hmm. Say nothing. It won't so much as far as in your direction, or <laughs> I'll simply say to Citric here that this great army we're supposedly gathering can never hold. Agreed. And I'll mention to us first that I did not come north only to turn and march south. Lord, I will follow you wherever you go, but I have a wife in Wessex. And men like Heston and Blood are no better than Kjartan. If the north is your home, your birthright, then why are we not looking towards Bebenbar? Now that is a voice we can believe in. I am begging you as your friend to not do this. God damn. You abandoned my brother. How can I do that? You must. Impossible situation. He's being pulled in like four directions right now. What did you say to Ethelred? What do you mean? You went to Ethelred. What did you speak of? I spoke of opportunity. To declare himself king of Mercia, to enrage Alfred, to cause division. To help out. To kill his wife. Do not sleep tonight. You may not wake. Do not sleep any night. Yeah, bitch. 
Yes, Uhtred, I may have suggested to Ethelred that he should kill his wife, but why ever not? She is Alfred's daughter. It would cause further chaos. What does it matter? It matters. Why? Or is the real purpose of Father Bayoka's journey north to ask you to go and save her? After all, it is what you do best, rescue princesses. Ragnar, I ask you to make the square. I will fight him right now and I will kill him. Why? Because the turd has found the truth. Oh, fuck. We are supposed to be one army. I predict the Lord Uhtred is about to desert this army. Ethelfled has called, and her hounds shall go running. <laughs> and there is the proof. Proof it means of what? You are torn between Saxon and Dane. Ragnar, your brother seems conflicted. Is he with us or not? Uhtred, what do you say? I say this army can never hold. Ragnar, look around you. We're enemies bound only by greed. There is no bond, no respect. No bond, you say? Uh oh. Then who am I? You're my brother. Is that not bond enough? Or does it not compare to a princess? It would appear not. What is your message? Ragnar, Ragnar! Your argument is with me alone. Uhtred is a free man, Ragnar. Do you stand with us? With each of us or not? Dude, this sucks so much. I will be leaving. I will be leaving, though I will not be returning to Essex. I am needed. By a princess. You're no more a Dane than the priest here. You're a whore to the crown of Alfred. Shit. You would do this to me. I must. Yes, of course you must. You swore an oath. You gave your word. And that is about reputation and honor. What my father gave to you, I now take back. You are no longer Uhtred Ragnarsson. You cannot do that, please. You are no longer my brother. Oh, no. This was a game to you. Go before I kill you. He does not live with Skade. Ragnar, she belongs to me. Yes, blood heir. You can fight for the witch. To the death. Agreed. Lord, say nothing. Agreed. We fight. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. This fucking show. Holy shit. It's so good. Dude, Ragnar, or Uhtred in this episode, was literally pulled in four different directions. And stupid Athol... Wold. Athel, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, the dude has so much information, it's annoying as hell. Because he continues to throw shit out, and people are listening to him, and putting people... Like, he put Uhtred in a situation where he had no response. Yeah. Because that's why Bioka was there. <laughs> shit. I, I'm so pissed at this little fucker. Oh, that he can get away with all this shit and no one sliced his throat yet. Like, how is this little shit alive? Yeah. Uh, you just want to just choke him. You know, just choke him a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. So, it is just... <sighs> the moment that Athelfled sent Bioka to... Like, you knew that was playing out. It was just like, what it... <sighs> like, literally the last episode, he's like Dane for life in front of everyone. And... In this episode, he agreed to give Ragnar a sword as the leader of this grand army. And then it's like, oh, Bioka shows up. Oh. Nathalflaed needs help. Like, he should put it to... It's not because she's a princess. It's because she's a friend. She needs help. I have to help my friend. Yeah, and... But it's like, the more you explain, the worse it gets, I feel. So he's just like, fine. And, but looking say. at it from Ragnar's perspective, like, how many times can he deal with this with Uhtred? No, yeah, you're coming into my life, and then you leave. You're coming into my life, and then you leave. You're supposed to help me, now you're not. So insane. This story is so insane. And it's so good. And, I mean, I'm gonna probably... Unless the fight doesn't happen for some reason, I 100% expect Uhtred to absolutely... Whoop the shit out of blood hair. But... He can't die right now, right? On the flip side, Skade's vision had blood hair killing Alfred in battle. So I don't know where this is going. I'm sure that this biatch is wrong. I mean, she... 
her track record has been one for one so far. She hasn't really done or said anything else that like has played her. out. Well, I don't like her. I mean, she's she's creating even more conflict in Uchra that is not necessary. That's... Like the fact that he now has to fight blood hair. It's like who cares? If it wasn't for Skade, he wouldn't have like he wouldn't be in this position to have to fight for his life. On and is, for her. is Skade gonna go with to? To free Athelflaed? To, yeah. to help her? I've... I don't know. What's th- she gonna do? I, I think she's definitely someone you want as an ally because she was kind of badass. <laughs> like, she could Excuse kill me, some sir? shit. Excuse me, sir? Excuse me, sir? Excuse me, sir? Oh, did you see what she did with... I'll give a fuck. all those fuckers. I don't care. That's what I'm talking about. I need her to sit down and Well, shut. yes, <laughs> I agree. But if you're gonna take her with... At least she could fight. But I don't want her around. I understand her, the whole reason why she's there. I she's get playing it. a game. I'm just being petty. Of course. Because I don't like her. She's playing a game. She's. <sighs> Is it that easy to convince Uhtred of things? Yeah, You apparently. just like whisper in his ear like. Show him some booze. Well, not even that. Let him cop you a feel. Or <laughs> let him cop a feel. And he was, he's like, yeah. He was into it way before that. That. Because she was saying all the right things about king, you're the king, people need to bow to you, I want to be your queen. It's like she's saying all the right buzzwords to get Uhtred like excited. And it's like, fuck, that's not that's what you want, what bro. She said? You got to keep going north to Bebenberg. That's the plan. That's also what she said. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> she's created so much conflict for him. Oh my god. And it's just... It's been nothing but negative impact since she showed up with him. Yeah. Getting all sick. And then now, like, the conflict between blood hair. Like, this isn't good. No. This isn't a... Like, even if Uhtred fights and kills him, like, this isn't a good situation. Well, Leofric didn't appear until she did. Right. Yeah. But now he's seeing him while he's still healthy. Yeah. <laughs> and not hallucinate, but he's still... That's ha- real sus. He, he's not sick anymore, and he's still having these hallucinations where Leofric is just, like giving it to him real like yeah, he's being honest like, he's being honest i i'm worried about um Uhtred's children i'm worried about Uhtred's crew i'm worried about bioka like i'm concerned that bioka is not getting out of this situation by the way i need finnan and citric to have their own show i need them to <laughs> find a way to get out of this situation citric and finnan because they better not get hurt no they're fucking hilarious. oh they're great I'm like, pissed at Bielka right now. I get it. Why are you it. pissed at him? Because, like, you touch Alfred, I'll kill him myself. Well, I'm sorry, what? I you mean, know what he's going that through That was just right the now. heat of the moment thing. Like, Bielka obviously doesn't really feel that way. He's, but, he's still pissed at Uhtred. I mean, yeah, but... All you had to do was bend the knee. Who wants to do that? I feel like Bielka... Edward? No. I feel like Bielka is very reasonable. So, I think he fully understands Uhtred's position. He just had to stand up for his king like end of the day mm-hmm. alfred's always going to be his king and edward is going to be the next king and bioka still has a place and a responsibility and a commitment so that part made sense. i don't think he really would kill utrid unless he really 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 was put in a position that he had to also try it i mean just try it i mean it definitely wouldn't be a one-on-one situation it'd be like i'm going up behind you and stabbing you in the back kind of thing while you're sleeping <laughs> yeah after you've been drinking I, this is so frustrating because all we want is the best for Uhtred. And I love when he's with Ragnar. Yes. That is such a great relationship and just want him to be happy. But he's also got a crew like Citric and Finnan. They can't go back to Wessex and, and kill Alfred and raid and kill the people because they've got people there. Like Citric's got a wife there. Like, and I, I keep forgetting to throw Osfert in there. Like, he's part of this crew, too. And obviously, he can't go and kill Alfred or be part of an army that kills Alfred. Like, What if he's going to be the king? He's the bastard child. I don't know how that would but work. he's still a son. I mean, he's still a son. It's true. I don't know how that would play out. But because in the other show that we watch where there's bastard kids and stuff, like, I, I don't know what he would need to do to be... Considered. To made whole or yeah. whatever as... Yeah, so I don't know how that would play out. But if it's a situation where, like, 
Alfred finds out about him and is like, oh, he's way more fit to be, like, that turnaround will be really quick. <laughs> like, the meeting and then realizing that he's fit to be, like, that would happen. They would have to have a lot of interaction for that to play out. But, I mean, it's possible. I don't see why it's not. I, again, I don't know how they handle the whole bastard thing in this world. So, yeah. It's, just saying. It just a, just it's a definitely thought. an interesting thought that he popped up and now he's with, like, Utrid and the crew, but yeah, he he's he's become one of the more interesting characters because he doesn't say a lot, he doesn't do a lot, but he feels like he's important. Yes, you know, like yes, absolutely. Like it's one of those weird he's a things. Distraction. He kind of is a distraction. He is the Saxon distraction. He's like the Italian <laughs> stallion, what? but he's the Saxon distraction. Saxon distraction. There you go. That's his, re- that's his wrestling nickname now. <laughs> I need it on his shirt. Osford. <laughs> the Saxon Distraction. You have better be able to back up a name like that. For real. These things just come to me. They just that's come funny. to me. That's, that's a good nickname. I like it You're a welcome. lot. Yeah, it's really welcome. good. <laughs> I mean, he's here for a reason. For sure. So... I mean, they had the they set up the whole they set up the whole game thing, so it's like it felt like they were gonna have a wrestling match. Yeah, so that was pretty awesome. (laughs) Ragnar is the hype man. Yeah, he's fun. Let's get ready to rumble. Yeah, Ragnar's fun until you piss him off. Word, and then like you know, (sighs) the the wrinkles in his tattoo get. Oh my god. Yeah, you can tell when they've freshly drawn it on. Yeah, I, not that it's not. Well, he real. took a shower. He got cleaned up. That's that's all. Mm. Like Brita looked pissed. Dude, can you can't make this chick happy? You cannot unless well, you're killing folks or hanging out with Ragnar. It's like her instincts are always right, though. Right. Like she always calls Utrid out, and she always ends up being right. It's like fuck. That's why she has so much animosity every time he shows back up. And if Uhtred leaves, this feels like another situation. You don't come back from this. It's like Alfred is done. Ragnar feels done. Like his only cho- choice now is to just go north of Bebenberg with his crew. Well, go where, s- save Athel Flood and then go to Bebenberg. Yeah, I mean, Finn even like, that's a fight. That's a war that we could get behind. That's something that they would support. So... I, I, with with Uhtred in this like no man's land currently, does that mean that he could just kill Ethelred and kill Ethelfled? Or no, not Ethel. We don't. We want to save Ethelfled. <laughs> yeah. We want to kill Ethelwold. Like, does that give him the freedom now to kill Ethelwold and Ethelred? I like, would can he just hope kill, so. Just take them both out without being like yelled at by anyone. <laughs> Son of a biatch, dude. <laughs> it feels like we're in that spot now because again, Uhtred really. I mean. He's like broken. I don't even want to call him that because it's such a dirty word. Call him an oath breaker. He's like broken multiple oaths at this point, and it's like only because he was like forced to. Yeah, it's he just has a choice. the whole situation sucks for him. But I mean, the drama in this show is off the charts. It is so good. It is so interesting, and yeah. I need to know what other shows Finnan has been in. Ah, hey! <laughs> I'm gonna. Nikki needs to be a rapper. She's coming up with all these rhymes. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. I. <laughs> She's good. What else has Finnan been in? Been in. <laughs> I don't know. Something I'll be here all night. That's Please tip we, your waitress. We can look that up later. <laughs> I don't want to reveal spoilers for No, anybody. that's why I'm asking yeah. you guys to just tell me what else Finnan has been acting in. <laughs> Stop. The actor that plays Finnan what else has, has been, been in. in. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Anything else? Tip your waitress. Yes. <laughs> Tip her well. <laughs> wow. Two drink minimum. Have you had your two drinks? Good. Mm-hmm. You good? You guys good? 
All right, we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> I think that's a good good spot to stop on. And, yeah, I can't wait to see where this goes. So yep. it's going to be wild. Yep. The Saxon distraction. <laughs> I like it. Leave all your comments. We'll catch you guys I, later. Wait, you Whoa. guys need to put that in the comment section. The Saxon distraction. Yeah. That way I know that you've watched this I, whole fucking chaos. I'm pretty sure. That is me, right? I'm pretty sure that's going to blow up in the comments 100%. I, I need to see it. Thank yeah. you so much. Have we, a great night. We good? Yeah. All right. You leave your comments. Leave that below. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.